Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're wrapping up our uh, Reaper 6 uh, setup uh, series. And I'll take a look at uh, spectral peaks and uh, backing up the preferences. Now, I'll start with the spectral peaks thing. This is a Reaper's uh, equivalent to uh, one of my favorite features in uh, Samplitude. A feature I've always loved there is the Comparisonics waveform view. This is basically a different shades of color in the waveform view, which makes it a whole lot easier to, um, to see what is what in the waveform. This makes uh, editing a whole lot quicker. Let's uh, find uh, this uh, feature in Reaper. The options menu, peaks, display mode, and here we have show spectral peaks. First time you turn this on, uh, it will take a while to convert the waveform view. And you also have the peaks display settings, which you can tweak. You just have to find uh, the color uh, balance that uh, makes sense to you. You can also tweak the, the gain of the view uh, overall there. The opacity, I typically leave that on uh, full. A noise threshold. And then you have the variance to the right here. Good example is on the on the kick. You can easily see what is a real kick hit and what is a snare uh, leakage uh, thing. And this is really nice for um, for when you need to edit uh, things uh, quickly. Next thing now is uh, doing a backup of the preferences we have now. I highly recommend you do that whenever you have um, a setup that you're happy with. It was a smart thing to do that uh, regularly uh, after you've done uh, some tweaks to your setup. And also, it's a great way of uh, having the same preferences on uh, different computers. In my case, I use Reaper on both my studio desktop that I have at home and the laptop that I use for uh, location recordings. And I typically uh, save it to a USB uh, drive. To do this, we're going to the preferences and general. Near the top here, we have export configuration. And here you have a whole bunch of uh, options to include there. And it can be a bit confusing to know uh, what you uh, need to back up. But as a general rule, I'd say, if you're not sure, select everything on the left-hand side here. Just choose a name that makes sense to you. And save. There is done. Didn't take a whole lot of time. And as with any backup, keep it in a couple of uh, different places at least. And that way you um, can always go back to a uh, working configuration. Hope you found that helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Really appreciate it. And I'll be back with some more cool uh, stuff, both with Reaper and uh, recording and mixing in general, very soon. 
Until then, go make some music. <laughs>